Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. So we're going to go to Alfheim. What is that? Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Sir? Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. Oh, it's that squirrel thing. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Well, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait. If you're Raditz Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Raditz Hosker. The one you know as Ratatoskar is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. Okay. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim, of all places. A realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Svartalfheim remains at your disposal if you have unresolved business amongst the dwarves. They will just carry on. as we travel you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves sure i can alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. The Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. They seemed better in Alpha. <laughs> Did they now? I do know that we fight some light elves, so... Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here. That's where we'll find Groa Shrine. But 
broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. Okay. So we just push on. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. Hello. Yikes. Fimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble Winter. A living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. Sands, he called it. Gone now. Another victim of war. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. Where's the other one then? Up there? Perhaps we can reach that breeze here from above. There we go. Right, okay. Shrine is at the top. Good eye. My frost eyes. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting no near chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Ah, very well. Hey, there we go. It's probably going to be three apples then for the next one.
Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, <laughs> Freyr's brother? Yes. <laughs> Cut from a different cloth, that one. <laughs> Pesky little ravens. Ah, could have got a bit closer. Always like to do them as early as I can. Just in case you get into a fight and you forget. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of another realm. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. Very clever. Wait a minute. Explode now, come on. Always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. <laughs> Bomb piss, okay. Oh, right, yeah, I know that one. I'm good, though. I was never any good with that. Travelled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. And did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Jump up! We're the ones who freed the light. Most of 
unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truth? <laughs> Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. <laughs> Let's have a look at some skills. Okay. Um, Where is... Well, I don't really want to upgrade that. One more new near chest, another artifact, and some undiscovered stuff. Tribute to Freya, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charmed. Of nightmares, in this case, theirs. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Ah! Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. Got two over there. Just one. Last one. I'm gonna guess is gonna be behind that. Last time. 
didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. How do we enter? Grab that wheel and I'll show you. I'll go first. Petraeus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? Does that mean that there are no more Dark Elves left? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. Solid light. And something something. Yes. Dense. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. <laughs> That sound. No sense in spoiling the surprise. Oh, it's the light. Ah. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple Winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. I'm not going to say the raw hide thing again. I really want to.
Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. That's pretty. Speaking of Light Elves, let me try talking to them again. They Best may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. Follow me, friends. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. Trying to wait. Okay. Uh, start looking out for pots. Aim from the ceiling again. And I'm coming back. I'm coming back. looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. Plop, 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 plop. It's kind of dark. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. <laughs> You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. Esteem. I see it. Right. Okay. Twilight Stone didn't give you the right angle. Are you certain?
I'm gonna rest. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. See what he does. Hi, everybody. Oh, there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Here, get back. Oh, that was mean. Elves want the souls and the light left alone, but the light elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. Sure made a lot of these light doors. Mm. Fortifications. Aye, none too eager to let the dark elves run the roost again. Okay. Anyway, locking it in place. Looks interesting. I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Give my patience. <laughs> oh, tricky. Yeah. 
There's got to be a way to get your axe behind this crate, right? It's down here. It's gotta be that. I don't mean to speak out of turn, but the white marble wall behind that grate. Perhaps your axe can reach it. Wait a minute. Okay. There we go. Thanks, dear. My pleasure. I've been exploring. I think I prefer that one. your favourite of Gavassia's poems, brother? Why would I choose a favourite? <laughs> Why indeed? Suppose I'll leave you to it.
I'll meet you on the other side. Something in there. Oh, yeah. How to get in there then? I'll meet you on the other side. Whoa, Tyr can really jump. Okay. Huh. Gotta be in here somewhere. Just need to do it a little quicker, I think. Yeah, I know, I've got to find the others. Okay, maybe not down there. Oh, I'm confused. Maybe they're all up there, and we come back and we go up there somehow. Ah, light bridge that goes across there. Okay, there we go. That's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Sparta offers counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Yes, he's in the light now too. <laughs> Where's 
Where is it? Where are we about snow? Okay, let's have a look at this one. Aha, there we go. Okay, I get it. must be precise. Maybe it's done from the bottom there. Masterfully done. The Love light it. door blocking the chest is gone. Now we just need to find a way over there. There we go. Mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground. Right, I think we're going to bring this episode to a close Over just here. here. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.